Calculus Part 7 How to determine the equation of a cubic function Watch carefully, learn the topic Determine the equation of f of x equal to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d if f passes through the points minus 2, 0, minus 1, 0, 4, 0, and 0, minus 8, 4 points. Now, when we look at the first three points, look at the y coordinates, 0, 0, 0. So, they are the x intercepts of the cubic graph. And we write the equation of the cubic function y equal to a times x minus x1 times x minus x2 times x minus x3. We have three x intercepts. Memorize this formula. Learn the method very, very carefully. Now we have x1, x2, x3. We substitute very carefully into this formula x minus of minus 2, x minus of minus 1, and x minus 4. Be very careful. We get y equal to a times x plus 2 times x plus 1 times x minus 4. Now the only unknown is a. What we do? We go and look for another possible point. So we have 0 minus 8. We substitute 0 minus 8 into this equation. So x is 0, y is minus 8. And we get minus 8 is equal to a times 0 plus 2 times 0 plus 1 times 0 minus 4. Simplifying, we get minus 8 equal to minus 8a, therefore a equal to 1. Then we write our equation, y equal to a is 1. 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 1 times x minus 4. You can uh, expand the brackets, simplify it as you like. Then our final equation of f of x is equal to x cube minus x square minus 10x minus 8. Determine the equation of gx, another cubic function, minus x cube plus ax square plus bx plus c. So we have no idea about these unknowns. We are given the graph. We can notice that the x-intercepts are minus 3 and 2. At the same time, 2, 0 is a turning point as well. Now, we start minus 3, 0 and 2, 0 repeated because it comes as a turning point. So, we write a times x minus x1 times x minus x2 times x minus x3. A is already available. A is minus 1. Then we substitute very carefully. X plus 3 times x minus 2 times x minus 2. We can uh, expand the brackets. So we get minus of x cube minus x square minus 8x plus 12. Remember, don't forget the minus sign outside. And then we get the final equation of gx equal to minus x cubed plus x squared plus 8x minus 12. So we are getting the equation of a cubic function. Let us learn a little more about these three functions below. f of x, look at f of x, x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x. It's a cubic function representing a cubic graph f dash x what is f dash x derivative of the cubic function what is that 3x square minus 12x plus 9 3x square so it's a quadratic function representing a parabola and that is the derivative of the cubic function so what we understand the derivative of the cubic function is a quadratic function and it is a parabola now, f double dash x, look at that, 6x minus 12. 
6x minus 12, y equal to mx plus c format. So, what is that? It's a straight line function. Now, 6x minus 12 is the second derivative of our cubic function. So, when we find the derivative of the parabola function, we get a straight line. So, these three are interrelated. Now, for clarity, I have drawn a beautiful graph for you. Look at the yellow graph. It is the cubic graph. Look at the white graph, the parabola. And a straight line graph to represent f double dash x. So we have fx, f dash x, f double dash x in the same Cartesian plane here. Now what we are going to observe here. Look at the graph very carefully. The x-intercepts of the parabola and the turning points of the cubic graph. The x-intercept of the parabola is 1 and the x-coordinate of the turning point is also 1. Same thing, the x-intercept of the parabola is 3 and 3, 0 is a turning point as well. So the x-coordinates of the turning point is the same as the x-intercept of the parabola. So if you know the x-intercept of f dash x, you can imagine that that number will be the x-coordinate of the turning point. Very important information. Again, we go to the other straight line. Look at the straight line. You have the x-intercept on the straight line, that is 2. And look at the point of inflection. The point of inflection is there on the cubic graph. And we have 2 as the x-coordinate of the point of inflection. So if you have the point of inflection, you can also have the x-intercept of the straight line. Now, these are informations which will help us in the future indirect questions. The graph of f dash x is given. The parabola is given. Graph. Now what is f of x is also available. ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx. Now there are three unknowns. What is our question now? Determine the equation of f dash x. That is the parabola. Very simple, we have already learned that. Now we have seen that, okay, the x-intercept is 1, another one is 2, and there is another third point, that is a y-intercept, 0, 12. So that's also very simple. We are going to use our formula for that, using the x-intercept, y equal to a times x minus x1 times x minus x2. Substitute very carefully, x minus 1, x minus 2. Now we have the unknown a. So we use the third point. What is that? 0, 12. x is 0, y is 12. Substitute. Now we get a times 0 minus 1 times 0 minus 2. Solve for a. And a equal to 6. Therefore the equation of f dash x is 6x square minus 18x plus 12. Moving on to question B, the same graph, what is our question? Determine the equation of f of x, the cubic function. f of x is ax cubed plus bx square plus cx. f dash x, we find the derivative of the cubic function. We know that 3ax square plus 2bx plus c. But we have already determined f dash x in the previous question number a. We got f dash x equal to 6x square minus 18x plus 12. Now look at those two equations. f dash x, 3ax square plus 2bx plus c. f dash x, 6x square minus 18x plus 2. Same thing. Now we equate the coefficients of x square, x 
Look at that. Therefore, 3a must be equal to 6 and simplifying or solving for a, a equal to 2. 2b must be equal to minus 18. Therefore, b equal to minus 9. And the constant number c must be equal to 12. So we write the final equation, f of x equal to 2x cubed minus 9x square plus 12x. These are all indirect questions, but good people, you learn it very well. Keep on watching. Watch these videos again and again until you learn it completely. Another new question, 2, 9 is a turning point on the graph of gx equal to ax cube plus 5x square plus 4x plus b. Determine the value of a and b. And hence the equation of the cubic function. The graph was not given, only the turning point is available. Now, just to make the, the idea behind this question very clearly, I am also going to show you how we use this turning point of the cubic function and the x-intercept of the derivative function. Look at that, g dash is there, g is there, the turning point is 2, 9. Now we know that the x-intercept 2, 0 on the parabola and g dash 2 must be equal to 0 because it is an x-intercept. Now, we use this information there. g dash x. What is g dash x? g dash x. 3ax square plus 10x plus 4. But we have seen that g dash 2 equal to 0. So we put 2 for x. So we get 3a times 2 square plus 10, 10 times 2 plus 4 equal to 0. Simplify that. We get 12a equal to minus 24. a equal to minus 2. So we got the value of a. The next is b. So we go for the value of b now. gx equal to minus 2x cube plus 5x square plus 4x plus b. Look for the possible point we can use. There is our turning point, 2, 9. So we substitute there. x is 2, y is 9. Just substitute very carefully. Then we simplify it and we solve for b, b equal to minus 3. The equation of the cubic function, therefore, gx equal to minus 2x cubed plus 5x square plus 4x minus 3. Good question. That is the end of part 7 of calculus videos. Hope you understood how to determine the equation of a cubic function direct or indirect question good people you enjoy these videos okay share it to your friends thank you